Hello everybody. Well as you can see, I'm currently circling a seagull. Oh, you didn't like it. Um, this video is to do with something that happened to me the other day. And I really wasn't expecting it at all. I'd done my uh, Guns Everywhere video in Portsmouth and uploaded it. And two days later someone said to me, I saw you in Portsmouth. And I'm like, what, did you? Really? And he said, yeah, it was the 14th. And I was like, oh, oh, I was in bed on the 14th. I was ill. And I was. And then it turns out it was actually the day before. Um, it was the day after, so it was the 15th. And we were talking on the 16th. Um, oh, yeah. And he said to me, sort of, I think I saw you. I was riding such and such a bike, wearing such and such leathers. And you nodded at me, and I was like, did I? Well, I do nod at not a lot of bikers, obviously, but... Okay, so I went back to the raw footage, and sure enough, there he was. <laughs> I swear she had a drawn-on moustache. I'm not even kidding you. I have to say, quite a funny time in the sort of recording because I cut out so much from that video because I really got so lost. Um, ugh, I just cut loads out of it. And yeah, so I mean, it's, it's quite nice, uh, sort of, oh hi, sort of thing, by YouTube. And yes, there you are. And I was, I actually put the short bit of video up for him, which showed him. Um, no particular reason, I just thought you might be interested to see. And this brings me on to my question for you, which is... Have you, as a moto vlogger, ever been... Uh, God, the bumps! Ever been recognised? Um, I know mine wasn't a proper sort of on-the-street recognition type thing. As in, we didn't actually meet and talk then. Um, mainly because I was still driving and so was he. But had we both been stopped somewhere, I'm sure we probably would have ended up having a chat. So yeah, have you, uh, tell me about your experiences of being recognised. I mean, I suspect this probably only applies, well, more applies to the more well-known motor vloggers. But then having said that, I'm probably one of the least known motor vloggers. And uh, I've been recognised in like two months of starting. And I'm sure that there's people who have, have been doing this for a long time and have probably got over a thousand subscribers and have never had the problem, of, well, not a problem, had the experience of <coughs> coughing. <coughs> never had the experience of uh, being recognised. And I'm interested to know how you found it and how it went. So yeah, um... I would very much appreciate if you would find times in your busy lives and schedules to make a response if you've been uh, recognised. Um, but yeah, I think it would be really funny and interesting. Um, I don't know if it's something that's been really talked about before too much, um, but when I was talking on motovlog.com it seemed like quite a few of us actually have been recognised and some of them sounded quite funny. So yeah, I'd love to know. So, from me, to you, vis-a-vis, -vis, I'm talking bullshit, I'll catch you next time. As some of you know, I'm a, um, I'm a chef. Well, I say a chef, I'm a cook. Well, I say a cook, I more mean sort of like a microwave technician glorified microwave technician but uh, yeah if you've ever wondered what chefs do when they get bored you'll be interested to see and this is what it is he makes little presents for the other chefs to find when they come on shift oh yeah see I know. 